Today we are going to talk about differential gene expression analysis and biological annotation pipelines. There are a number of methods and algorithms that can be applied to scrutinize the significant genes from the RNA expression data. Depending on whether the data is normalized or not, these methods can be applied. For instance, if data follows normal distribution, we can use various types of t-test methods, including Welch method, Wilcoxon, etc. And if the data is non-normalized, that is, it contains the raw read count values, we can apply algorithms like DSEC, DSEC2, and HR. Thus, depending upon the data type, one can choose a method. In the previous lesson, we already talked about how we can apply the t-test and how we can extend the RNA-seq pipeline to differential expression pipeline. Now let's learn how we can apply the DSEC2 pipeline and perform enrichment and GSEA analysis when we have a gene expression in the form of raw count or read count values. The first step is to perform the differential expression analysis. For that, we need to select the differential expression option under the data mining section on the tBioInfo server. After clicking on the differential expression option, you will be directed to the file upload interface where you need to click on the data upload button to upload your file. Please make sure that your data must be a read count values or raw counts. It should be containing the IDs written in the first row or the first column only. Also make sure there should be no blank line at the end of your file and also there are no duplicates in genes in your data. After data upload, make sure to drag the samples in two groups. It is important to remember what was your group B since when you interpret your results, it would be with respect to group B samples. For instance, whether genes are upregulated or downregulated in group B. Thus, it is recommended that you should drag control samples in group A and test condition under study samples in group B. Let's take forward all the ER positive samples in group A and triple negative in group B. Now click on the start button to build the pipeline. Next, to perform differential gene expression, click on the DSEC2 module or you can also choose the HR. Here we are using the DSEC2 module. So while clicking on DSEC2, you will get a pop-up to define or specify the parameters. For Volcano Log FC, the value should be minus 1. It is better if you choose minus 1.5 and the value for P adjusted for significant genes should be 0 0.05. Next, to understand the biological implications of significant genes, we will perform enrichment analysis and gene set enrichment analysis. Based on the enrichment analysis, we will understand what are the important pathways in which our significant genes are enriched. Similarly, we will learn about the important gene ontology terms that are significantly associated with the set of significant genes. When you click on the enrichment analysis module, you will get a pop-up to set or define the parameters. The value for adjusted p-value threshold for g or take enrichment will remain 0.1. P-value correction method would remain FDR and the value for adjusted p-value threshold for filtering the DSEC2 results before GO or keg enrichment will remain 0.05. Similar to the enrichment analysis, when you click on the GSEA analysis module, you will get a pop-up to define or set your parameters. The p-adjusted value will be 0.1, p-value correction method would be FDR, and the adjusted p-value threshold for filtering the DSEC2 results before GO or CAKE enrichment will remain 0.05. Now to end the pipeline, click on the end button, then name the pipeline and finally click on the run on clusters to run the pipeline. Once your analysis is complete, you are going to get various plots. The first one would be the volcano plot and the second one would be the enrichment and the GSEA plot. Also, you are going to get a DSEC all.txt file, which is going to tell you about the differentially expressed genes in the tabular format. 
Now to learn more about each and every instruction that we just followed to run the pipeline and also to analyze the results and interpret your biological insights, you can visit lesson number 9 on learn.omics logic portal. In this lesson, you will learn how to derive biological meaning or annotation once you identify significant genes and you will also learn how to perform interpret gene enrichment analysis on the server.